Oh, we're going down. Disconnect the lifeboat. Today, we're going to be using this absolutely massive oil tanker, and we're going to be sinking it. Let's get started. Well, let's go ahead and no-clip inside the helms area here, and we're going to turn on some all these lights. Okay, I don't know what any of these mean. We're going to turn on daylights just like that and put our throttle up. Wait, it's not letting us. Hold on. How are we even supposed to start this thing? Okay, I'm just clicking stuff right now. Um, Okay, so I think we actually have to go down in the engine room all the way below the water level here and actually start this. Okay, we're going down here. It's a little bit creepy. Hopefully, there's lights. Is that a light? Oh, there it is. Okay, perfect. We have lights, so we're where do we actually start this thing? Oh, there's a whole bunch of buttons here. So we click ignite firebox. And then we're going to click all the fuel and coolant pumps and then steam valve. Okay, I think that's what you do, right? Um, Yeah, that is what it says it does, I think. And yeah, we'll just do that on this other side here. And then we can actually start this thing and we should be out of here in no time. There we go. We have some steam coming out of both engines now and perfect. And is that all we have to do to actually start this thing? Um, Okay, let's put the throttle down. Is that all I have to do? Oh, it definitely is. Okay, get in the helmsman here. Okay, we're driving this thing. Oh gosh, how do we get out of here? Okay, we can't go that way. Oh my my gosh, we chose like the absolute worst dock for this. This is one of the worst docks ever, honestly, for a ship like this, especially. Okay, so we're gonna be turning on our um, bow thruster here to max. We need help turning this way, okay? So we're turning that way. We have our bow thruster on. We're turning full starboard rudder currently. Oh, I don't know if we're gonna make this, guys. Those rocks up there are kind of concerning me. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna be spawning here again, guys. This is one of the worst docks ever, but I think we might just clear it, but I don't know why they built these train tracks right in front of a cargo ship boarding area. But there we go. We did clear it. Let's open our map here and see exactly where we're going today so we're going out pretty far to see here so where are we even at oh gosh we're pretty near the bermuda triangle which is right over there but we're not going to be doing that today i think what we're going to do is go past the island here and just continue over here so we're going to go up to the arctic area but this is like the second bermuda triangle area so it's pretty close to it but it's not the bermuda triangle but this thing is floating high look at this the red part should be pretty close to being underwater like our propeller is almost sticking out of the water this thing must have so much air in it Let, let's check oh my gosh this thing is completely packed with air yeah no wonder why it sits so high but while we're driving there why don't we give a bit of a tour of this thing so let's go down here we do have an entire radio station thing in here i don't know if that's like some sos or morse code but yeah let's turn on our heaters because it might be getting chilly in here but then down here we have the captain room so this is where i actually sleep at and there's an explosion button, which we might click because I kind of want to see what that actually does. But yep, we got a whole room in here with a um, lounge area and then another like little um, radio area or something. But then back here, what do we have over here? Okay, this is like the co-pilots area. So we have a clear view of what's going on in front of us and um, the island right over there. And I do see some houses. Okay, that's quite cool. But um, if we go even farther down, okay, then down here are some more crew bedrooms. So these are crew bedrooms, not um, anything crazy up here. But yep, and then now here is our deck and we do actually have a lifeboat. Thank gosh because that might be necessary. What is that? Oh my gosh, why is there a hole in the ground? Oh, we need to get in the captain's seat right now. I feel it turning this thing. Go, go, go. Oh, it's really, this isn't going to be good. Uh, we're in a way too large of a ship for this. Oh gosh, what's going to happen here? Okay, we're entering a whirlpool right now. Um, Oh, it's right there. Oh, we're just going to completely turn left into it. I just feel it. Oh yeah, we're definitely turning left. Oh no. Are we going to drive past it or are we going in it? Oh, it doesn't look too good, guys. It doesn't look good at all. Oh, here we go. I'm getting in my helm here. Oh, that's not good. Okay, we're going to throttle down so because there's no point of trying to outrun this because it's just not going to happen. Oh, that's the bottom right there. We're way too shallow for all this. Oh, we're in a whirlpool. This thing should not be in a whirlpool. Oh, wait, our entire deck is underwater over there. Oh, gosh, are we about to go underwater over here? Going up the railings. Oh, gosh, wait, are we going to flip? Hold on. I think we're having some issues here. I think we're going to be able to handle it, though. This is, actually isn't too bad, but there is water completely over this deck. Wait, I see our smoke. Why is there smoke? Okay, well, this thing did survive, though. I mean, that is pretty cool. Props to that. This is like one of the largest largest oil tankers in Stormworks currently. It is one of the best ones ever. Um, so we have a lipo there. So we actually have two lifeboats. Okay, that's good. So we could have a whole bunch of people actually in this thing. And then what's back here? Is this a swimming pool and a cargo boat? Okay, I've never seen that before. But anyways, let's continue our tour and drop like two floors right here because I think this is the floor I was on. All right, so this was the floor we were on. Anything crazy right here? So this is a really nice looking dining area with some of the white cloth tables, of course. Uh, where are the lights at? I want lights in here. So we turn lights on just like that. Oh, it looks so nice in here. Oh gosh, okay. this That room looks cool too. How about we check out that one? And then we got this room right here with a full blown, Um, wait, is this a kitchen? I don't know what that is. That looks really confusing. Okay, I don't even know. This is like a kitchen. Oh, wait, curtain. Oh, 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 that's so cool. So we actually have a curtain to like actually enable the kitchen here. That's oh, and there's a seating. Okay, so pretty cool stuff. We got wait, 
Is that forward or behind us? Oh my gosh, that actually scared me. I thought that was in front of us. And I was like, wait, what? Why are we going to crash again? But yeah, this is pretty cool. Wait, there's a door here. Oh my gosh, this dude really likes sliding doors. And it's actually pretty cool how he makes them. But yeah, this is cool. We got some cool things. This is actually the dining salon. Okay, that's awesome. Then we have a swimming pool back here for some reason. And then even lower, do we have anything down here? Okay, I think it's just like more crew bedrooms. Oh no, we actually have a dining area. And then they have this like subway setup kind of thing. And then we have, what is over here? Oh, this is the kitchen. Okay, so this is is definitely the main kitchen here let's go ahead start up some ramen noodles right now put them on our um, oven right here perfect and we'll eat those in a bit here but then up on deck here this is our main deck so look how wide this thing is this is actually insane for a boat oh my gosh wait what how are we walking through these pipes okay so they must have xml these and what are these over here is this like our satellite equipment um we have a shuttle crane control oh my wait can we actually control this crane oh we definitely can oh if debbie was on this thing i would definitely swing this straight in her face oh my gosh she would not see that coming and then down here we have a hose locker to actually fill this thing up with fuel so i don't even think this thing is actually usable but if it was i can tell you right now this thing could store an insane amount of fuel it'd probably sink this thing but then if we go up here wait what in the world is that forming in front of my oil tanker oh my gosh why does this always have to happen to us okay we need to hurry up this tour here because we have some stuff okay pump rum can this actually pump in water um it actually says it can pump in stuff but i don't know where to be honest but oh this is not good and then we have a fire hose right here okay so that's definitely the one of the coolest things ever but we probably need to get inside the helm seat right here we're having a slight um wave going over us not concerning at all we have this on the daily guys this is one of the smallest waves we've ever seen so we need to go back up here in the helm go go okay we need to close that door all outside doors need to be closed immediately we are currently rising up a tsunami here momentarily oh we definitely see it oh gosh okay we need to prepare we need to go full starboard full starboard we gotta hit this head on hopefully we don't capsize i think this thing will handle it just fine but we're gonna see here here we go we're rising the tsunami will we even go underwater this thing has so much air in it i don't even know okay never mind we're definitely going underwater here oh this air time is gonna be insane oh no yeah this thing has a little bit too much um air in it yep air or helium i don't know one of the two but this thing was in the air for quite a long time but we survived but guys i forgot to check the weather radar today so um we have a big storm coming i did just check so this is not good guys we need this thing fully on lockdown this is one of the biggest storms yet they said so this this is not good, guys. This is not good at all. We might need to send some emergency help here in just a couple minutes. Oh my gosh. SOS, SOS. Okay, I was just joking. But as you can see, the waves are starting to pick up a little bit and it's actually starting to sprinkle. Yeah, I'm definitely staying inside here. Oh yeah. But our ramen noodles are done. I just heard the oven go off. So why don't we go down here and actually start eating them and those are not going away. So how, where's the actual kitchen at in this thing? I forgot where it was at. Was it right here? Oh, perfect. Okay, grab the ramen noodles and we're gonna go. Oh, perfect. We have a little lounge here with my coffee pot oh yeah these are some pretty good ramen noodles oh oh my gosh guys look outside uh that's the tsunami that went over us earlier but um the, those waves are kind of picking up here hold on i might need to go back up here i'll bring my ramen noodles with me because that's of course necessary oh my gosh guys these waves are picking up this thing is not made for these types of waves why did i bring it out today i have no idea this rain is getting crazy oh i just saw a lightning strike oh it's really getting dark out here oh it's pretty creepy outside um yeah this is a little bit concerning not really what i want to see when i'm on a boat but i mean it kind of has a cool vibe to it you know like it's rainy and stormy and you're in a boat i mean i do understand that that is pretty cool but what's even cooler is being on deck when it's stormy outside this is actually insane look at these waves but they're definitely not going to get anywhere near going over this thing's deck because we're definitely a little bit too tall for that but um i was actually using this crane here and i was kind of messing around with it but um the tsunami had to interrupt it so yeah we can bring it up and down and do a whole bunch of stuff i wonder how strong this crane actually is i wonder if it can lift like a car i don't also know what the crane's for since this is an oil tanker not really um, made for lifting stuff i don't know maybe this helicopter pad right here might be used for something but here we are we're going on the complete front of the ship here oh my gosh look at that imagine we just jumped in oh that'd be so scary it's probably so deep down there like i don't even want to know how far that actually goes down oh imagine we just jumped off oh oh that was oh no okay we had a slight inconvenience there but we're back of course wait guys what's that um we're getting a hurricane warning saying these waves are gonna get much larger than they already are how can these even get larger this is actually insane we definitely chose the wrong day to be doing this guys but we're just gonna be waiting here waiting for these waves to actually get bigger i'm actually scared oh my gosh i definitely see them getting bigger oh wait what how is that going over deck this thing shouldn't even be anywhere near that close to the water oh these waves are definitely getting bigger this has to be as high as they're getting because there is no way in heck they can get any higher than this 
this because this thing actually might snap in half. I feel like that could happen because of all the force going on the front of this thing. These waves are actually crazy. Oh my gosh, they just keep getting larger. How are they this big? That's like twice the size of this ship. They look like mini tsunamis. They are. They, they have to be. We're completely in the air right now. These waves are definitely too big for this thing. Okay, we need to throttle down. I never thought I would actually have to do this, but we need to throttle down our ship here because we're going too fast. We're getting airtime. Oh, it's completely crashing over. Dude, imagine being a small little fishing boat in these waves. This thing's actually a big boat for this. Imagine doing this on like the Queen Mary or the Titanic. That'd be insane. Oh my gosh, so much airtime. We're gonna crash into the next wave. Here we go. Boom. Oh yeah. It actually looks quite cool back here in a storm. Like it's really relaxing and cozy in here. Imagine having a multiplayer crew in here and one of us would be the bartender. Oh, that'd be so fun but um let's go click that button we saw in the um captain's room earlier the explosion one because i wonder if that like puts an explosion in the boiler room and it makes us go faster because doesn't that make sense so i'm gonna put this coat on before we actually do this because i'm actually a little bit scared but we have our bed here all right are you guys ready for the explosion button here we go what's gonna happen oh what was that wait um i just saw the crack did i just see a kraken did i see that right oh the kraken's attacking us and it exploded at the same time oh my gosh okay i think we need to go back up to the helm that probably sounds important what is going on up here oh my gosh the kraken is completely over our deck get the heck off this thing we're gonna shoot the fire hose at this thing once it goes back on again because that is not happening where's that fire hose located at okay where's this right here we have our fire hose okay oh there's some damage on deck right here that is not good but we're gonna be um turning this on so how do we turn this on fire hose is on and hose pressure will go to max oh this thing's gonna completely shred this thing okay let's test it real quick okay oh my gosh that goes so far i wonder how much psi this thing has but um an explosion did happen below the ship here so i wonder if we're actually taking on water of some sort that might be quite interesting but i'm just waiting for this kraken to show up out of nowhere and i will spray the crap out of this thing where are you at kraken okay i think we can throttle up now because um the waves definitely have gone back down i think that was actually it for that storm thank gosh that was terrible oh i hear it cracking did you guys hear that i just heard something roar directly under us do i see anything i don't actually what is that oh i definitely see it. oh it just hit me oh get out of this thing oh we are shooting you with so much pressure right now get off of this thing does this actually work oh my gosh he's oh oh he just tried smacking me oh that is not happening you get off my ship um guys this doesn't really look like it's working oh this is not good okay you know what i'm getting back inside that was terrible and the kraken left again okay well we're um let's check our under deck here so anything oh wait what's that is that water inside of my hall oh that is not what i want to see definitely too much water here are we actually taking on water there is no way this thing is sinking they said it was unsinkable no they didn't but um i i thought it was unsinkable okay we're gonna go in our relaxing bar lounge because that seems like a very professional thing of me to do right now oh uh, look at it in here it doesn't feel like we're sinking in here does it i kind of feel it listening to the front over there which is a little bit concerning but i just remembered we have lifeboats there is nothing to worry about and i didn't even buy this thing this entire ship was one of my tax write-offs so this is no big deal to me at all so here we go are we actually taking on water let's check once again oh oh that's a kraken okay that's a kraken there's no water though we should have probably brought a helicopter i definitely could have afforded that there's water going over the deck on these small waves these aren't even big waves at all oh this thing's definitely going down guys what is going on okay maybe we should start loading lifeboats here i'm gonna try figuring out how to actually use the lifeboats because that probably seems necessary actually before we do that let's go down in the engine room and do a water check because it might be like a false alert you know that might be no water and it's just lying but i don't actually see any water down here let's check the void yeah i don't see any water but what's across this wall here um actually yeah so no water in the engine room so that's lovely but um yeah this thing's definitely going down here i don't know why maybe it's because i was curious and i decided to click a button that said explode on it that was probably the smart oh oh gosh uh okay lifeboat time to load okay how do we actually work this um div it okay then it should extend it just like that oh we're going down guys this thing's going down fast oh we need to hurry this up okay lower the light but no don't click up down 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 go 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 okay this thing is going down oh wait i just fell through the floor what oh we're going down it's going down disconnect the lifeboat oh gosh here we go disconnect disconnect oh it's going down so fast what the heck i can't even disconnect it go disconnect okay we disconnected that one now we have to disconnect the next one over here oh it's sunk it just completely sunk no it's bringing the lifeboat with it oh no go 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 i'm trying to catch up with it oh i see the cracking down there oh no go wait uh i can't catch up with that you know 
know what? I'm just better at swimming. What in the world? That thing sunk so fast. So oh, no. Why did it sink so fast on us? I couldn't even release the lifeboat. But there it is going straight to the bottom. And there's a kraken lurking right next to it. Oh my gosh. And it actually has all the lights on still. So it still has power. But it's still going down. I wonder how deep this ocean actually is. Oh, there's the bottom. Okay, it is about to hit the bottom of the ocean here. Let's see if it actually does any more damage to it. Here we go. Three, two, one. Boom. Oh, that completely broke that thing's hull. But there it is, guys. It completely sunk. And now it will be on the bottom of the sea floor forever. But yeah, guys, that's probably going to be it for the Stormworks video. Let me know if you'd like to see me sink some more ships. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. Hit that bell. Join the Discord. Link is in the description. But thanks for watching and goodbye.